Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There are some concerning news coming related to India's indigenous fighter jet program. Talking to Business World in an interview, the chief of Indian Air Force said considering the timelines and niche technologies being looked at for AMCA, it would be prudent to have a backup development or realization plan in place to ensure the availability of alternative systems and sensors in case indigenous plan fail to mature as per planned timelines. His statement was in response to the question on whether the Indian Air Force wants scope of foreign collaboration in AMCA program in the areas other than jet engine technology. Now, as per the report, CAS expressed his full support for the indigenous program but flagged the Indian Air Force deep concern and scepticism over the ability of ADA, of DRDO and HL to deliver on key indigenous fighter aircraft programs on time. Indian Air Force Chief has advised prudence of foreign tie-ups as a backup for development of alternative systems and sensors just in case the indigenous effort slips on deadline. He also expressed his concern related to LCA Mark II timeline. Readiness for the flight testing of LCA Mark II is expected by 2024 followed by induction from 2030-31 onwards. As per CAS, this is an aggressive timeline and we hope that ADA and HL will be able to meet it. So these were the exact statement from CAS interview and it was important to present them as it is in order to avoid the misinterpretation. So basically CAS has highlighted three important points here. First, delay in the development of niche technologies where there is need of foreign collaboration. Second, delay in the indigenous program that is AMCA and LCA Mark II. And third, the timeline for LCA Mark II is aggressive. Now, before we discuss further, it's also important to understand that CAS has expressed his full support for the indigenous program. However, if the timeline keeps slipping, it's going to put Air Force in a grave situation. India has a constant threat from China and Pakistan. This threat will continue to be there for decades to come. China, with its huge economic power, has already deployed J-20, its fifth generation fighter jet, in its all theater commands. At the same time, China is also arming Pakistan with its latest 4.5th generation fighter J-10C. In contrary, the Indian fighter jet modernization seems to have halted after the introduction of 36 Rafale fighter jets and the order of 83 LCA Mark 1A. Air Force will also have to phase out its older fleet of MiG-21 Bisons, Jaguars and Mirages. We have already discussed multiple times that Air Force will be hardly able to achieve the squadron strength of 35 in a decade timeline against the sanctioned strength of 42. The capability gap is going to further widen if the indigenous fighter jet program do not take off on time. The induction of LCA Mark II is not going to happen sooner than 2030 and that of AMCA by 2035. ADA is running three fighter jet programs including TED-BF of Indian Navy. These next generation of fighter jets involve development of various niche technology which will take its own time of development. However, the collaboration with foreign OEMs such as Lockheed Martin, Dassault, BAE or Thales is definitely going to expedite the overall process and this is what Chief is hinting towards. Running three full-fledged next generation fighter jet program indigenously is bound to introduce significant amount of delay. So in my opinion, one of the solution of this whole delay in fighter jet program and declining fighter jet squadron strength is MRFA. CAS has been quite vocal about it and has stressed multiple times that MRFA is being pursued by Indian Air Force. Though historical timelines of this program, which dates decades back, highlights the bureaucratic hurdles in our defense equation process. However, government and Air Force must drive this program on war scale and then only we would be able to see the fighter jets coming out of this program in next three to four years. Again, this is a very optimistic timeline and only possible if MRFA program gets the enough momentum as needed. The billion dollar program 
for the 6th squadron of fighter jets is a huge opportunity for any foreign OEM. India can negotiate with foreign OEM for collaboration on development of niche technologies that could be used for 5th generation fighter jet program. At the same time, private players who will be involved in the production should also be engaged in R&D in the aircraft design. At present, this area is dominated by ADA and HAL. The addition of 6th squadron of next fighter jet such as Rafal F4 will give ADA the time it needs to develop the indigenous fighter jet. At the same time, Super Sukhoi upgrade need to be also expedited with new engine and Uttam AAC radar. The new engine which is AL41F1S engine generates a thrust of 132 kN with afterburner which is 16% more thrust than existing AL31FP engine. The new engine will have service life of 4000 hours which will be double of existing engine. At the same time, the mass of AL41F1S engine and dimension is same as that of AL31FP engine which will ease its integration with Su-30 MKI without any additional modification. The new engine is also more fuel efficient. It will allow Su-30 MKI to carry heavier weapon payload and generate more power required for the radars. So if we have to summarize, Indian Air Force should prioritize the Super Sukhoi upgrade and MRFA program. 13 squadrons of upgrade Su-30 MKI, 6 squadrons of MRFA fighter jet, 2 squadrons of Rafale and 83 LCA Mark 1A will add significant power punch to Indian Air Force to tackle PLA and Pakistan Air Force. Government must increase the stake of private players and foreign OEMs in the development of niche technologies that will be used in AMCA and LC Mark II programs. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.